Hi, I'm Adam. Welcome to Jazz Hacks with Juror MU. If you have ever wondered about gospel sounds, if you uh, play jazz, for instance, but you didn't grow up in the church, but you really like that sound and you'd like to use it in your music, it can be sometimes hard to figure out where that sound is coming from. Now, I am not a gospel player. I have had just a little bit of experience playing in a charismatic church, but not enough to call myself one of those people. And I certainly didn't grow up in the church. And the kind of music I'm about to tell you about is really old-fashioned. It's about maybe a sound that's 60 or 70 years old. Uh, modern gospel and charismatic is much more complicated. But this sound still exists in the charismatic church, and you'll still hear it in gospel music, and it's worth knowing. And it's actually very simple. And what's really interesting is these are sounds you don't hear anywhere else. You typically don't hear these sounds in rock. You don't hear them in pop almost ever. And even in jazz, these are sounds that are particular to this music. <clears throat> if you are playing a C minor chord, and you put a major third in the bass, the E, you get this very interesting sound, which again, you don't hear anywhere else except in the church. Uh, of course, we use the sharp nine, which is what that's called in jazz all the time, like this. There you got a major third and a minor third, and they're contrasting with each other. But usually when we do this in jazz, we have the C in the bass, so that dissonance sounds normal or normalized right this gospel sound puts the e in the bass and gives it more you know growl there's something about it that's very different that you don't typically hear in jazz unless someone is copying a gospel feel so this can resolve into the f really nicely okay um, and so what you've got is kind of a double resolution. The C minor to F comes from farther away than the E to F, but they both come to the same place, so it resolves nicely. And you may have caught me playing the F sharp, which is another dissonance that really belongs to the church. F sharp over an F chord, like that. Uh, again, this is a sound, we do hear the sharp 11 in jazz, right? But hearing it over a fourth is less common. And that's what we're getting here. The, the sharp 11, or the flat 5, is in the bass. The F sharp over an F major. And it resolves to a C. Again, this resolves to the G, kind of like a pedal point. G is part of a C major chord, C, E, G. We're just putting that G in the bass, so F sharp to G, and then we're going F to C, like that. Now, if we make this an F7 chord, it's even crazier, right? Right? So you can combine those two, sorry, like that. That's a sound you can explore and experiment with to see if you can incorporate it into your playing when you want the feeling of that sound. Of course, these are just sounds, and there's no substitute for knowing what you're doing and for having experience in this music. Well, the music is bigger than any one sound. But if you've been looking for that elusive sound, this may be what you're looking for. C minor over a major third, F7 over the sharp 11. That's a lot of music theory thrown at you. If you wish you had a chance to go slower, to start over, come visit us at truermu.com. We have a whole series of courses for the jazz beginner. And I mean entry level. You can start knowing nothing and come out knowing something. So we'll see you there. Thanks for joining us.